Hi, I'm Colin, and I'll be presenting Exploring the Lost Landscape in Neural Architecture Search. This is joint work with Sam Nolan and Yash Savani. Neural architectures are getting increasingly more specialized and complex. This image on the bottom is the DenseNet architecture, which was designed in 2016 for ImageNet. And recently, the best architectures are not handmade, but are designed with the help of algorithms. And this is the area of Neural Architecture Search, or NAS, which seeks to automate the process of finding the best architecture for a given dataset. NAS algorithms themselves are getting more complex. In fact, many popular NAS algorithms make use of neural networks themselves as subroutines. And so why is NAS so challenging? Well, NAS is basically an optimization problem. Given a set of architectures A, find the architecture with the maximum accuracy. And so we might ask, what does the lost landscape look like for this optimization problem? Is it more like the image on the left, which is, which is very smooth, sort of convex and easy to optimize? Or is it on the, more like on the right, which is more jagged, much harder to optimize? Well, it's actually more like the right. And the reason is because because uh, our, our function evaluations are noisy. So training a, a neural architecture is inherently a noisy process. We run stochastic gradient descent and we'll get different accuracies even training the same architecture multiple times. And so because our function evaluations are noisy, our, our objective function is noisy, the optimization problem is challenging. And in fact, some recent NAS techniques have been have been designed specifically to deal with these, this noise. And so a natural question is, how much of the hardness of NAS can be attributed to noise in the architecture training? This is the question that we study. And a main tool in our analysis is the local search algorithm. So first, we show empirically that local search in and of itself is a strong baseline for NAS. And we also show that local search is state of the art on denoised versions of popular search spaces. We also give theoretical results, giving a complete characterization of local search and also the number of local minima uh, based on the PDF of the search spaces. All in all, we show that yes, noise is a large factor in the reason that NAS is hard. Okay, so I'll start by formally defining local search. So in stark contrast to other NAS methods, it's extremely simple. It's just five lines of code. So basically we start by picking an architecture at random, then we train that architecture, and then we also train all architectures in its neighborhood. Then we pick the neighbor with the highest accuracy and start the next iteration. And by neighborhood here, I mean all architectures which differ by at most one operation or edge. And we also study one other variant where instead of evaluating all architectures in the neighborhood, we start the next iteration the first time we find a neighbor that has a higher accuracy than the original architecture. All right, so now we start to run experiments. Uh, in this slide, we, we run experiments on NASBench 301, which is a surrogate benchmark on the DART search space. And this is an interesting benchmark because we can simulate NAS experiments uh, that are realistic for real life. That's the vertical line here. And we can also simulate NAS experiments with less noise than real life, or also more noise than real life. And what we see is that in a denoise search space, local search achieves the top performance. But when the search space is much noisier, Bayesian optimization performs the best, and local search gets worse uh, the, more, the more noise is added. We also plot the number of iterations that it takes local search to converge. And we see that as the noise increases, the number of iterations in, uh, decreases, uh, which which suggests that it might be getting stuck in local minima before it can reach the global minimum. We run similar experiments on NASBench 101 and 201, and we see similar trends. 
and and on Nestbench 201, since it's a small search space with just 15,000 architectures, we can actually exhaustively compute the global minimum and then compute the percent of architectures that reach the global minimum when, uh, when performing local search. And we find that on a denoised search space, almost 50% of architectures reach the global minimum. But on a standard search space, uh, realistic for real life, only about 7% reach the global minimum. And on the noisiest search space, uh, less than 1% reach the global minimum. OK, so finally, we give theoretical results. And we show, we show two theorems. We, we, show that we, sh we show the expected number of local minima for any search space. And also, we show the expected number of architectures that reach with an epsilon of the global minimum uh, for any epsilon when running local search. And these formulas are in terms of the probability density function of the search space. So it's not realistic that we would know the PDF when running NAS in real life. So these, these theoretical results are to give a deeper understanding of the local search algorithm and also to lay the groundwork for future theoretical results in neural architecture search. We also uh, empirically validate our th theoretical results by computing the probability density function for NASBench 201. And then we compare our theorems to real world experiments. What we find is that, is that we, the, the theorems uh, predict real life reasonably well, although there is a, a bit of discrepancy because real life, the, the search spaces are discrete whereas our theorems are continuous. Okay, so in conclusion, we showed that local search is a strong baseline for NAS in and of itself. We showed that local search is state-of-the-art for denoised search spaces, which suggests that we might, we might want to take time to denoise our search spaces. And we also gave a theoretical characterization for local search. You can see our code at this link and I hope to see you at the poster session. Thank you.